next lab activity we're going to show you is the fill in the blanks. So if we click on our magic hat at the top and we scroll down to the fill in the blanks, you can either preview or you can add this activity. So we'll add this activity. There's a simple one that I have an example of, but there's, these ones are a little bit more fun. There's an underwater one and there's also a missing ingredients one. So I'm going to do the underwater one. Now, when you're working on this, you have the option of having correct and incorrect answers or preference answers. So we're going to say, um, and then you also have the preference if you want the answers to be checked right away when they're slid in or check the answers after the students have finished. And we're going to keep it like that. When I click next, now it comes up and we have to write our paragraph. So you would write a paragraph about something. Okay, it could be about anything. It will tell you when you're getting close to your limit. It says there's 281 characters left, so I could type much more. So I write about whatever context, context uh, you would like to. Then I'm going to say define blanks. Now it's as easy as taking this blank right here and dragging it on top of my word, and then that, that becomes a blank. And I can do that again. And I have an option of doing 10 uh, altogether. So I'm just going to do those two. I can also edit the text at this point if I, doesn't, if I don't like my paragraph. Click Next. You have the option of adding some game components. Um, today I think I'll add the buzzer. Okay, so how many buzzers do I want? Let's say one buzzer. Um, you could add the, um, the name pulling, the name wheel, any of those things as well. And then I'm going to push Finish. So the lesson activity will be built. I do have my buzzer here, so if I can click on the buzzer, you'll get the little buzzer at the bottom. So if a kid want, if you had two kids at the front and they think they wanted to compete, they could click on the buzzer and you'll get that sound. And then the student could then um, drag and drop in their answer and the next student again could click the buzzer and we could um, continue on. As soon as I've got them both there, it's going to ask me if I can check answers because that's what I said. I wanted to check them at the end. And there we go. If you want to reset it, you click the reset and you're ready to go for your next lesson. If you want to edit, you can reset here. You can edit your lesson here so you can go back in and you can make an edit to your, um, uh, if I click next here, you can go in and you can edit your paragraph here. And that is how the fill in the blank works.